Okay, this is my final installment on uh, beating these Chinese disc detainer locks. I've destroyed them all. This is the last one, and I've saved the best one for last. I've been using this one for a while. I thought it was pretty high quality, uh, just judging from the design uh, to secure my shed, but no more. Uh, again, the lock, pretty high quality key in this lock. Um, it is a fully functional lock so far. We're going to fix that in just a moment. Won't need those anymore. Uh, what we're looking for, if you haven't watched the other videos where we defeated these, is in the bottom there's this uh, retainer that this little silver ring holds the entire disc pack in place. So let me clamp this here for a moment. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here, here's an example of let me get the cameras here. So here, here is the, uh, another one of those rings. This is what they look like when you pop them out. This is all that holds these Chinese locks together. It's just a cheap metal disc. And if you look very closely, you can see this spring clip. If I can get it to pop out, you can see it. That is all that's holding this entire disc pack together, this little, this little ring here. So that's how the Chinese do it. They pop it in, they stick this in, and by compression, they compress this and it pops into a machined ring and holds it in place until someone like us comes along and figures this out. Uh, all we need to do is remove this plug. We need to overwhelm this spring tension, pop this dude out, and then the disc pack falls out. So let's see if we can make it happen. I'll try to... I have to work around the camera here. Here I have a, just a broken chisel. Uh, you can use a screwdriver, but I did break a screwdriver. We're going to put it in. We're just going to try to lever this thing out of there. You can see it's starting to come out. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, vice is giving up. Sorry. Just find the right angle. I'm gonna bust a knuckle here before this is all said and done. I just know it. Tighten this dude down a little better so I don't have to go to the hospital trying to show this like that. Hmm. Now this is by far the highest quality one, no doubt about that. It's coming, but slowly but surely. I'm trying to hold this with my hand because that vice is not cooperating. Oops. It wants to come out. I think I've snagged a couple of those discs at the same time. Let me find a beater. Not ideal, but hey. Son of a gun. This is by far the toughest one. There we go. Well, this one's a little more substantial. As you see, that was quite a surprise. I probably should have kept this on my shed. <laughs> but you can see the disc does come out. It's the same design. It's just a little bit thicker than the other one, which uh, is the first time I've seen that. So there's what it looks like. But it's held in place by the same clip. This one was a little more difficult than all of the others to get out. But the end result is the same. Uh, if you look in, we now have access to the entire disc pack. And I'll try to change, I'll dump it all out here. So there's our guts of the lock. And then if we look up inside of there, this one does, again, quite a surprise. It has a metal body. So if we can dump that out, the ball bearings, there's our metal body. There's our ball bearing, one of them. And then our hasp completely falls out. 
and that's the end of it. It's no abloy, but I gotta tell you, this was a little tougher than the other Chinese ones. Hermex.